Well, with the breakfast cookie, you know, the first the first big wave for us was uh, the Weight Watcher audience. You know, they they can find any food they want and promote it within you know them, themselves and their meetings. And so the breakfast cookie caught on because the gal started eating it. You know, cookie for breakfast, cookie for lunch. 600 calorie dinner, boom, you're gonna lose weight. And that's what was happening. And we were just riding this incredible wave and it was just spreading across the country like wildfire, which was awesome. And you know, we couldn't get onto the shelves fast enough. Well, and then of course another fad happened, which was Atkins, and that's when everything just tanked. And you know, we really had to look at playing the game like everybody else does and that is you know your, your product's not popular and you're on the shelf and you've got to get people to pick up your product just because they stop and say hey what's that uh, so that's when we came to Matt and said we've got to we've got to take a look at this package and see how we can really improve it we rebranded the logo and the company name and then we took that and we did all of the breakfast cookie flavors which was a huge job because I mean the package was completely different and we were really addressing a lot of challenges that we were experiencing on the shelf you know all the cookies looked the same there was no color different I mean there were a lot of challenges that we were trying to fix and I would say that we experienced a lot of success as a result of that repackaging design on the breakfast cookie it fixed a lot of the problems that we were having with it and we've gotten nothing but compliments on it so it's you know that was a huge success for us and that went so well and we were so happy with that process that there was really no question of you know moving forward or not we just move forward and then we launched the breakfast cookie minis and the brownie bites and the granola so th three different product lines one new packaging launch and um, gosh 14 SKUs so a lot of products Baker's has been a lot of fun for a variety of reasons for one we get to do packaging which we love uh, we've also been able to help them with their messaging and I believe that's um, made a big difference in the amount of sales that they've gotten and the level of interest from their consumers and I think that's a big part of what we care about is that um, we realize that we're not only helping our clients but we're also helping the end consumer and we understand the consumer and therefore um, the ripple effect of what we do is huge and that's one of the great things about a company like Baker's is that um, we get to help them, the people that work there, as well as the end consumer. You know, we did do a lot ourselves and it became really obvious when we were comparing our designs to Matt's, you know, to Pivot's designs that we had no business doing our own designs. I mean, unless you're, you know, distributing to one little cafe in one little town, you can do your own design, but I think it's very important to outsource your design work because, you know, that's that's really the biggest benefit is finding the best designer and Pivot Lab in this case and letting them do their work because you, you can't do everything. I definitely consider Pivot Lab as a partner in this journey, um, not just a one-time, you know, one-time job. So uh, they've, you know, played a real integral part in, in our success with, you know, getting our products branded on the shelf and getting people to grab them.